back. Hi. Hi. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Fundy Bay Chronicles. I'm David Mage. And I'm Daniel Zaketo. And we are your weekly and bi-weekly... Are we? I don't know. <laughs> we might be still trying to figure that out. But we want to be your go-to platform for finding out what's happening in our region. And what is our region, you might ask? Well, well it's the Fundy Albert region of New Brunswick. Yes. And it's a big region now. Um, there has been some big amalgamations that have taken place that, uh, that have broadened the, uh, the geography of, uh, of the region here. Um, some people like it, I hear. Some people maybe don't like it so much. <laughs> I like it. I like it too. I think it's pretty good. As it kind of has our community running from just south of Moncton to just east of St. John. We're really kind of taking yeah. Fundy Park and just the whole scope right uh, of, of rural communities yeah. right through that whole region there. And there are some amazing, amazing regions in this whole, whole area here. Yeah. I mean, we did spend the summer looking at going to some of those. So we did. Yeah. We did. Great segue, Dan. Great Thank segue. Thank you. So, we haven't been around lately. Um, welcome to our work in progress studio. Uh, we are hard at work. Or hardly working. Yeah, I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at trying to put together a new studio space that we can uh, we can deliver better content uh, and uh, and in a better atmosphere. Yes. Because uh, you know you got to look at these ugly mugs long enough. We should at least give you something nice to look at around. Hey, my wife says my my mug's not that ugly. <laughs> well, I'm glad she's your wife. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, so yeah. So what did you do this summer, then? Well, Good question, Dan. What did I do? Well, being new to the community, yep. um, I found myself working a whole heck of a lot. Yep. Um, that happened. Which was good and, and not so good. Yeah. Because I didn't get a lot of time to do some things to really enjoy the, the incredible space out here. Yep. But I really got a lot done for, uh, for some organizations and some businesses out here. Uh, and I felt really good about what, uh, what I accomplished. Okay. Um, so that was good. It was a busy summer. It was a good summer. Uh, I'm glad we're way past the summer actually. Yes. Now. We're into fall, winter, and we're heading towards spring. spring. Yeah, yeah. spring's coming. Uh, yeah, and things are finally settling in now. Where here we are, able to uh, to get back on track with the uh, this important stuff. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, you're just about to get right into the summer to go back at it. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Yes. Yeah, we've oh. got a bit of a different work uh, workspace for myself. Yep. Uh, I'm actually going to be uh, going to be working at Keep and Rage all summer, uh, which is a phenomenal place. I highly recommend coming to check it out. It's an adventure lighthouse park. Nice. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll have lots more details about that uh, over the coming weeks and months. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I'm actually really excited about what's going to happen. How about yeah. yourself? Um, same, actually. Funny enough, I did work the entire summer at Keep and Rage. Well. Uh, well, doing with the day to day, I did take I did take some time, especially during the holidays. <laughs> uh, actually, I first uh, first year living here as an actual tourist transitioning to local. I actually went to the Hobart Rocks, got my got my feet in the mud, then went to the national park. Uh, I did the I did a couple of the uh, walking trails and uh, check out Moncton. I actually went to the home show. I made friends with oh, really? a, I made friends with a contractor. He invited us to the home show, so I got a few information out there. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna go help him out to do that again this year. Yeah. And um, when was the home show? Uh, I think it was in May, something around May. The the, the home road the, the road home show. Okay. So it was pretty good. We met a lot of contractors and a lot of businesses doing stuff. So it was pretty. It's a very learning experience, especially right. considering here that there's a lot of a lot of renovations there's happening. A lot, a lot of work that can go on with a lot of houses out here for sure. Oh yeah. So I met with them and I a lot met of a potential. Couple... We'll say. Oh a yeah. Lot of potential. Oh yeah. I met with them. Got a lot of stuff done. Um, my wife's business started doing well too. We are the the doggy daycare and doggy boarding and grooming. Yeah. So we have that in the village. Uh, that's pretty good. What's the name of the company? Paradise Resorts Incorporated. Right. But we just go by Paradise Resorts. Uh, she's on Facebook. She is on TikTok. And we're looking forward to have all your doggies, children, furry babies, come in to stay with us and for grooming. Um, and yeah, and then at the end of the summer, I just spend the time, like you're saying, just checking around some of the things, finding ways to improve the channel. Uh, and looking to bring you guys some more additional content and more stuff. Yeah, can't wait. Yeah. I'm really excited about what, what we've got in, in the works. Oh yeah. Uh, and on all platforms, between the social media, like more with YouTube, 
uh, and getting more things going on in the community as well. Yeah. Uh, speaking of community, yeah. there is. It may be winter time, and I may have a tendency to hibernate in the winter, but I'm shocked at how much is actually going on right now. That's true. Into January, uh, for throughout this this area here. Uh, so, I mean, without further ado, let's uh, let's highlight some of those things for for some of the folks out there that uh, are interested in getting getting out there and doing some stuff. Absolutely. So we'll go with we'll start in chronological order, I guess. Any order you like. Perfect. So we're gonna go for the things that already passed because uh, today is the 11th. And we're recording this. So, as of the 6th of January, the uh, the Outpost East is going to be open again on the weekends. Their operation hours are 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Saturdays and Sundays. Outpost East as in... At the funding, uh, for the Fundy National Park Visitor Center headquarters. They're right. having their Outpost East uh, open for the weekends. You know, being open now, I think they can really help kind of push, push things that are going on in the park. Yeah. Which actually reminds me. So, Fundy Park actually has some winter camping going on. Yes. So we'll get more details on this, but it looks like they're trying to do four season camping out in Fundy National Park. Yeah. Which is awesome because that's gonna help pull in a lot more tourists year round. And really that's that's the big focus I think for our community is yeah. is being a solid community for ourselves and for the ones that the locals that live here and the residents. But let's get uh, let's get some offers out there for tourists to be around for the whole year. So we can yeah. keep more things open. Uh, throughout the whole year. I think we have, uh, I think, isn't, it, isn't that around here in the area? Like the park is good for winter cross country? What's it called? Cross skiing? Cross country skiing? Cross country skiing, yes. Is, yes, yeah, I think there is a lot of trails that they, they groom they for that. cross country skiing. Yeah, so now um, those folks have a warm place to come and stay. Absolutely, yeah. Perfect. Uh, what else we got? Uh, the February Frolic's coming. It's a skipping a little bit ahead. I know we say we're going to go in chronological order, but... We lied. We'll add, well, I lied. You didn't. I, I'll take all the responsibility on this one. February Frolic's coming on February, of course. <laughs> uh, from the week of the 10th and to the week of the 19th. Where you get you guys more information with the events as soon as we have some more free information ourselves. But we are looking forward to see you all hanging around in the community and getting some events happening. Yeah, absolutely. And that week of the 19th, the 17th to the 19th is Family Day weekend. So that 19th, that Monday, I believe is a holiday. There'll probably be a lot of really good uh, activities and stuff planned for uh, for that day specifically. So yeah. you, you families out there who want to get out and get active, keep a keep an eye out for our next uh, our next video, and we'll highlight a lot more of the activities and that going on once we find out what they're doing. Because last year we saw we heard about some great activities, and we actually participated. Yes. Well, I participated in one, and that's how we met. I drank I drank chocolate. It was February frolic. Where I was helping uh, hot heat up water yes. for hot chocolate <laughs> over an open fire, which yes. was delightful. I had a great time. It oh, was yeah. at Broadleaf uh, Ranch, oh, yeah. and uh, and it was great. We had uh, hot chocolate going all day. They had uh, activities going on. Uh, they got music. They got food. Uh, I froze my butt on the horse lid. Right. What's the name of that horse? It's the big one with the big fluffy feet. Yeah. Somebody Clydesdale? mentioned Clydesdale. Yes. Clydesdale. They were having Clydesdales pull in the uh, pull in the sled, mm -hmm. and it was it was pretty nice. I think I don't remember the name of the person who did it, but they brought and they were showing how they used to make ice cream, just a heavy cream and some of this uh, ice around. Right. It was homemade, delicious local ice cream, and it was delicious. If I had to get out of my house for any reason in winter, it will have to be for ice cream and hot chocolate. Oh my god, <laughs> I forgot that. But yeah, we had. Um, the churning. Yeah, we had the old school churning ice cream, and I remember I, I had to do so myself, yeah. and I had my boys with me yeah. who had to do it as well. Yeah, we're doing the rotation. Churn, the, churn the ice cream, yeah. or churn the milk and butter and everything into yeah. into ice cream. Yeah, and it was fantastic. Oh yeah, he who didn't churn the ice cream shall not eat the ice cream. That's <laughs> what they said. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, you got to take a turn on the churn. Of course, <laughs> go one way, go the other way. Make sure yeah. that there's no clumps. That's right. Yeah, spice it up. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. Uh, so that's February frolic. Again, yes. that'll be from the 10th to the 19th of February. Uh, more details to come. Yes. Now you have something that you will be looking forward to because I know one of one of one of your little ones. Yes. Here. So it's it started up, but it's going to be ongoing for the next couple of months. But uh, the Riverside Albert Fundy Curling Club is back in action. Oh yeah. Uh, and they've actually got their Little Rocks program started up again. Yes. Uh, so I think that's for kids up to about 12 or 13. Yes. Ish. And then they have a new program that they started up, or 
they used to do this, and I guess they've been able to bring it back, is an under-18... Uh, yeah, the U18 group? Youth group. Yeah. Uh, which is now taking kids from, I guess, 13 to 17 uh, and teaching them how to do curling. Yeah. Which is awesome. Because curling is so much fun. They need to have a, they need to have someone for people like me. I am 3,700 years old, so I don't, I don't fit onto the U18 anymore. <laughs> yeah. Well, they do. Funny enough, most nights during the week, the curling club will have programs going on for adults. So they have, I believe they have a women's night, a men's night, and a co-op night. Oh uh, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, so you can you can join one of those nights, see if you can join up with a team, learn about how the curling and all that works, and just get get involved with the uh, with the, the other group. Hmm. Yeah, my very competitive wife will have some fun playing on curling and be like, I'm gonna kick your butt at curling and I'll win and I'll be ha ha ha. <laughs> yeah, that very well goes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Or she'll just kick my butt more realistically, she'll just kick my butt. Yeah. Uh, perfect. So yeah, both uh, both the programs started on the 7th. It runs for 10 weeks, so there's still spots available. I will say reach out to the to the curling club just to make sure for the information. Yeah, I believe it's on Facebook. I yes. Uh, you can uh, find the Fundy Curling Club on, on Facebook. Oh yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, and reach out to them. Indeed. Uh, let's see what else we got here for the curling club. Uh, oh! oh yeah, go ahead. I just remember, I think that's where you're going, is there's a tournament coming up. Yes. A big tournament, uh, province-wide, province yeah. that they're ho holding down here. And I think the fancy word they use is a bonspiel. A bonspiel. But, mix, I don't know. Uh, annual mixed bonspiel. Nice. Yeah, it comes from the week of the, it comes from the 26th to the 28th, which I hope it's a weekend. <laughs> of what? Of January. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's almost January. at the end of the month. Um, but yeah, it's an annual mixed uh, bunch spiel, and we'll see, as David, as you mentioned, we got teams from all over the province coming, so we got to cheer up for our locals. Yeah, we'll get out there, we'll have to get some footage, Yeah, catch some of the games, That'd yeah, be pretty nice, see what yeah. it's like. For the for the cafe that you ran, I I, I helped, but I'm going to I'm gonna take the credit yep. just here. We want to also give a big shout out to all the people who helped us. Absolutely. Uh, not just uh, David and family who went there and helped us volunteer with their time. Uh, we want to thank the folks who brought some of the food, and we want to thank everybody who showed up. It was a, uh, it was pretty nice, and we were able to help. You said it was for the hot meal at the school. So right? yeah, we put this Christmas cafe together to help support um, hot lunch program at yeah. uh, at the Riverside Albert Consolidated School, and uh, we ended up raising over seven hundred dollars. That's good for the program. Hopefully, that's so a lot of hot meals. now they have uh, have a good. Uh, influx of money to help make sure that they're getting food and stuff that they can keep continue they can keep uh, offering hot lunches to all 50 plus students at the school it can be a long day yeah, for these think. guys 5 30 in the morning for some of them sometimes yeah. depending on yeah. the bus time so and and we have a br breakfast program that goes on at the hillsborough school um that uh, that we're going to look at some opportunities to support them as well perfect so yeah, so folks, look forward. We might be running some more of this during the during the year, and uh, we'll keep you posted because it's a great cause and it's a good way to spend a, a Saturday. To be honest, we met a lot of people. We got some people out of their houses to come and hang out. I think some of the ladies were very happy that they didn't have to run a tea time in their own homes. So come to us. We'll clean up the mess. Come on, we'll That's do right. it. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yep. Um, which reminds me, we also had a amazing uh, Christmas market take yes. place in December. Uh, so. Uh, Christmas in the country takes place uh, over a, a weekend, first weekend in December. Yes. Uh, this year was just the one weekend. I think previous years they've done two weekends, or, or I'm, I'm not sure what they had. But this yeah. this uh, this year it was a the first weekend of December. Christmas in the country uh, took place across this whole um, the whole region south yes. of Moncton. We actually got people from from Moncton itself. Absolutely. Some of the vendors were from Moncton. Yeah, and so part of Christmas in the country. Um, we, as members of the Riverside Albert community, uh, on behalf of the Shepherdy Community Revitalization Committee, uh, which we call CCRC, uh, we put on a Christmas market. So we had over 30 vendors and, and organizations come out for the weekend and uh, promote their, their products. Yeah. Their products and their organizations. It was great. It yeah. was a lot of fun. We were there on behalf of the uh, the Riverside Albert Fire Department, oh, yeah. doing some gift wrapping, oh, yeah. offering our phenomenal gift wrapping services. Our phenomenal gift wrapping. Not even close. We we are. I put plushies in boxes. We are not <laughs> professionals. <laughs> nope. <laughs> for get, in, get, in regards to gift wrapping. Yes. But I'll tell you, we had a blast. We oh, had yeah. a lot of fun. And right, right. I can't wait to put something together for next year. Oh, yeah. And we have, uh, what was it? Yeah, we, we came, we, we actually had some cookies the day after and then 
Those were pretty good. Yummy cookies. Yeah, we may, <laughs> we may have had some extra cookies left over that didn't last long after no. after the market. No, yeah. I'll make it that long. But yeah, no, it was it was great. And yeah, we had vendors from all over, and uh, we had uh, folks selling their crafts because most of the things that were sold down there were all handmade. So it was nothing. We were not. They were all the knickknacks from the locals. Uh, we got plushies. We had. Oh, well, we were helping the folks from the high school, too, that were doing the fundraiser for the prom. And then I believe they were running on the first day they ran for the first half. They actually ran a restaurant, uh, a cafe down in the below. And then we had the girl, the Girl Scouts? The Girl Guides. Girl Guides. I always confuse with the Girl Scouts. We had the Girl Guides coming. And then mm -hmm. after that, I believe, I don't remember it was who It was a youth Baptist organization. The youth Baptist was there for the whole day on yeah. the second day. And they offered some food and stuff as well. Oh, yeah. We had a lot of, we had a lot of people coming by and... Mm -hmm. Funny enough, I I found out when I got there when we were doing the coffee, the coffee request, the coffee shop, right above us was the food bank doing their drive. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. The Shepherdy Food Bank yeah. um, was uh, put some uh, gift packages together, and they were offering those out as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it was a uh, lot of things happening during the winter that amazing stuff. We were not aware. Of. I was not aware. You, mm -hmm. you might, y'all might not. <laughs> Um, right. So now we go to the big change. We were gonna go chronologically, and I think we ended up going from Alma all the way down to Hillsborough because I think it, it ended up being geographically. Geographically, oh yeah, my, yeah. you know, Eng it's English now. Good me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what he said. <laughs> there you go. That. Um, yeah, Hillsborough is having a lot of stuff happening as well during January. The uh, the Hillsborough Arena is open. Uh, they're running with their times. Uh, have a look on their Facebook group because they are, their times are various and multiple through the week. So, go check them out. Just, just to, just to be clear, the Hillsborough Arena is doing ice skating. Ice skating. There you go. So they're open now for ice skating. Uh, hours are pretty varied, so I would check their Facebook page yes. to get uh, get details on exactly yes. what when they're open. Yes. When I go here, it's two dollars per person or five for the family, but you can still go for the times. Uh, the mobile de eco depot. Mobile Depot. Mobile Eco, Eco Depot. Depot. The big, the big sea cans for, for the recycles, for the big items. <laughs> That's right. Is hitting up in Hillsboro. Yes. Uh, this, what days? <laughs> the same weekend that we're doing the Curling Club Reverse Hour on the 20th. Oh no, the day before. There you go. See, I'm so confused on other things. It's actually January the 25th before uh, the Curling Club event, January 25th from 12 to 8 p.m. Yeah. So they'll yeah. be there all day. I think uh, the folks there come and assist. So bring all your stuff that you can regular to throw in the trash for recycling. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you check the Mobile Eco Depot website, it'll have all the details there too on what yes. they what they accept and stuff. That's the same for the. I, well, I know, I know, like, I know the locals are pretty versed in when the Mobile Eco Depot stuff's going yeah. on. But for us newcomers, or you know, who've only been here a couple of years, we're still kind of getting used, used to, to this yeah. this um, service that's offered. Um, so, if you're not aware of it as a newcomer in that, uh, please check out the Mobile Eco Depot website, which I think is Eco360. Oh, it's uh, the same from the app then? I think it's the same same with the app. Okay, yeah, because the Eco360 yeah. app has uh, the timing for the trash and then if it's clear or blue. Mm -hmm. But yeah, but the Eco Depot just takes the bigger things because these folks are doing it locally. So, if you have mattresses or boxes and stuff like that. Construction materials and yes. stuff too. If you're doing some renovating, they'll yeah. take it. I think actually some of the sometimes some of the things that they recycle, they actually have the sea van because mm. some of those things can be refurbished and repurposed and stuff like that. So, they actually yeah. take that on the side as well and they try to work on those. Yeah. So, a bunch of good stuff for us mm. people who are trying to keep this beautiful green area green. Yeah. And so that's uh, January 20... January 24th, January 25th. I just double checked my notes. From 12 p.m. until 8 p.m. There's folks out there to help you out unload the stuff from your truck. So, don't be afraid. I have gotten a bunch of times. It's great. It's, uh, it's actually pretty fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice to shed uh, a lot of excess things. Spring cleaning <laughs> like after that. Christmas shopping. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 A little midwinter cleaning. Oh, yeah. Let's see, what else we got going with Hillsboro? Uh, the Kiwanis Bingo, it's happening every Wednesday from 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. Uh, door opens at 5, as always at the 47 Legion Street Canteen available. Uh, the Kiwanis are right next to the supermarket in Hillsboro, right across the street, a little bit down the road. I think so, don't quote me on it, I'm not sure. Ah, there you go, me and but, geography. Yeah, it's in Hillsboro. Yes. Uh, they're having that. Uh, the Hillsboro Baptist Church is having... Um, uh, during the Wednesdays of January, they're having basketball uh, from 6.30 to 7.30 for grades 3 to 5 and 7.30 to 8.30 for grades 6 to 9. Uh, teach, uh, so, sorry, hold on. So Wednesday nights, you can drop the kids off 
and then go play bingo. basketball. And then go play bingo at Kiwanis. Yeah. And then you pick him right away after. Wow, goes, that's right? a Wednesday too for if I ever heard I one. I know. You drop the kids at 7.30, you show up for bingo, and then by 9.30 you pick them up. They'll stay playing, yeah. Perfect. Exactly. I don't know if that would work out logistically, but <laughs> yeah, I don't know. it's all Wednesday. It sounds like a great opportunity. Yeah, a lot of Wednesdays. A lot, yeah, a lot of things happening on Wednesdays. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what else we got? Saturdays, uh, the Kiwanis uh, Chips Landing at the Royal Canadian Legion 31, uh, which is on 31 Legion Street. I think, oh, I, th I think that's the one. Yeah, when you go down the street by, before you hit the Kiwanis, there's the Legions. The Legion, yeah. The Ship's Landing Bar. On Saturdays from 7 to 10, 11 p.m., they are doing karaoke night. So if you're like me who has no singing capacity, we'll meet you at the, at the karaoke we'll, bar. We'll go out there and burn your ears. Of course. <laughs> yeah. You guys need a reason that's... to wake up late on Sunday because you cannot hear anything? Just come and see me here and you just come and see me singing on... <laughs> <laughs> the karaoke we'll Saturday come, night. come and listen to Dan sing, and oh. we'll, we'll ruin your night. <laughs> of course, I mean it's <laughs> so a It'll be a laugh. It'll be a blast. It'll yeah. be amazing. It'll be a lot of fun, and uh, and I'm sure his uh, Latino dancing will make up for all of his. Oh yeah, his singing. You guys will have a great comedy show. You guys went to the comedy show. What did you saw? We saw Latino kids singing horribly and then attempting to dance. Yeah. We laughed so hard we couldn't hear anything the next day. <laughs> yeah. So the Fundy Blades Skating Club is up and running again. They've got uh, a bunch of activities and stuff going on. I would say check their Facebook page yes. to get all the details um, and to reach out to them if you have any questions about what they they got going on. Um, and I believe their seventh annual uh, fundraiser yes. is coming up at the end of the month. Yes, on the 27th. Uh, January 27th, uh, they're doing their fundraiser. Yes. And they've got a lot of great activities and stuff planned for it, a dinner, and uh, yeah, it sounds like it's going to be a really exciting, uh, exciting night. Oh yeah, then that. And what a what a way to support uh, support the community as well. Yeah, like ice skating is such a, a a huge part of our Canadian heritage. I would say, you know, hockey is synonymous with Canada. Oh yeah. And growing up playing hockey or just ice skating is such a a, a, a wonderful thing to do in the winter time when there are aren't so many activities you can get involved in. Yeah. So it's it's great to see all of these programs coming in throughout January and February that are on the ice. Yes. Between the curling and the Fundy Blade Skating Club and the Hillsborough Arena. Uh, there are some great things out there. Yeah, there's no reason to stay home in Herman like me. No, exactly. <laughs> get out there. Have fun. Hang out. Meet some new people. Yeah, like let's, let's get connected. Um, and even it sounds like we're got some plans to uh, to put together a little um, outdoor skating rink in Riverside Albert. Yes, now, I believe there's talks about it. There is some talks. Uh, I don't know what the plan is yet, but I hear if the weather stays cold, we might actually be able to get an outdoor arena going or an outdoor rink going uh, near the rec center. Yes. Uh, but more details to come as we find that stuff out. Yes. We'll let you know. Depending on the weather, yeah, because it might get warm tomorrow and then we can have a nice game. Right. <laughs> and... Which is a wonderful thing out here because the winters are do tend to be a little bit more mild because of the yes. because coming off the water the 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 way the air does. Thank you, Nova Scotia. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Bay of Fundy. That's an ocean. Um, yes. But but having said that, it also means that it's a little harder. I find to get some keep winter activities. Outdoor going. ice frozen. Yes. Because right now it's minus fourteen outside. With a storm coming in that is going to bring us up to about plus four, plus six, yeah. and 20 millimeters of rain. Yeah. So, like, we got a great dump of snow a couple days ago. And it rained the day after. And then it was gone the next day because it rained. Yeah, it rained. Yeah. It was nice and pretty. Everything was covered in snow. I have a good reason to not get out of my house. And then it rained the next day, and now i got to go outside and do stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that's just, it come, comes with the territory. That's true. But it is, it is gorgeous, though, i got to say, though. Even when everything here is covered in snow, or when there's no snow around. Mm -hmm. It's kind of nice seeing grass in February, too. Because <laughs> everything here just gets covered. Yeah. Coming where we come from, right? February, it's just like you sit there for, like, two weeks because the temperature mm -hmm. is minus always, and then, oh, look, there's a patch of grass here. It's just, like, sizes, snows, melts, fun times. I honestly just love looking outside and seeing grass, snow, whatever it is, but not a concrete jungle anymore. So the big news for me over the uh, our break is I got a new pet. You did, yes, I yes. I did. So we have adopted a rescue uh, plots hound. Yes. Uh, I didn't know what a plots hound is. Um, a dog, too, I guess I should specify. We have adopted a dog. <laughs> a dog, yeah. uh, He is wonderful. His name's Dash. Yeah. And he's a plots hound, which apparently had been bred 
to hunt bears. Yeah. Which is very exciting because we have bears. Yes. And not that I want to hunt them, and I'm not, not saying that. But For protection. Knowing that he has that capacity to be aware of bears in the wild makes me feel a little bit better when yeah. we're going for walks through the, the, the our trails. trails. Yeah throughout the you know the mountain behind us in our backyard yeah so that's been been really exciting so if you're ever thinking about adopting i would highly recommend looking into uh some good rescue uh organizations across canada yeah. and uh, and seeing how you can you can get out there and help yeah and if you're local and you're looking for a trainer paradise resource does the training too actually funny enough we went down to mountain to buy dog food mm -hmm. and we met with a lady who runs a program for elder dogs Really? Yeah. If the folks uh, I, and it's not it's not just elder dogs. It's elder dogs or elder people. Somebody gets a dog and then you know life happens and you grow up and they're too old to take care of the dog. So instead of putting them in the pound or giving it to the human society, this this group takes them and then they helps them relocate. If it's an older dog, maybe finding an older person to take care of them so they keep each other company. Mm -hmm. Or if they're younger, they'll try to find an active family so the dog can continue staying within the family cycle. Uh, which is pretty nice too. So yes, I I got a puppy two year like a year ago, and I love my pup, but my rescues are they need a good home too. Yeah, and that same boat. I got the I got a Bernie so I can protect myself from the bears, but the Jack Russell's the one who runs away from the bears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. so your dog hunts. Your dog is to hunting dog uh, bear. No dogs, bears. And my little one is a Jack Russell, so he's good to hunt in my. So between the two of us. Amazing. We're all covered in place. Yeah, just call you over. There's a bear in my back here. Quick, send send Dash here to help me. Dash him yeah. away. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now we got to deal with the coyotes. So figure out how we can do that. Deal with them. Nah, the, our dogs will just join the pack and then take over, and then we'll have an army of coyotes <laughs> yeah. to protect us from the bears. <laughs> that sounds even better. There you go. Yeah, it does. All right. Well, um, I got nothing else. Uh, happy New Year's. <laughs> oh, happy New Year. Right. It I is. Saw 2024. Oh my God, it's 2024. Oh, it's going to be a great year too. I'm really excited about this year. Yes. Yeah. 2023 wow. was fun. I think we we had a lot uh, a lot of good things happen. Yeah. It's a good learning curve. For me, I, I can speak for myself. I don't want to I don't want to speak on your behalf. Oh, you were already you were already done with the learning curve. I just finished the learning curve. Right now, you're at the process where it's like, okay, the curve is here, and I know what to do better. Mine's like, ah, here's my series of decisions, and now here I gotta go find out how to make them better. <laughs> Sounds like the usual computer. Uh, Computer. Uh, uh, it's a computer life cycle. Life, Rains life repeat. Cycle. When in doubt, just yeah. um, have you tried plugging it in and plugging it off again? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool. All right. Well, thanks again for tuning in and uh, and listening to uh, our ramblings. Hopefully, you got some valuable information from yeah. the uh, the community updates and events. Um, and we promise we will be here a lot more regularly uh, and uh, and delivering as much content as we can jam in these short few minutes as possible. A few minutes, we haven't filmed in for an hour. Oh, wow. <laughs> Stay happy, stay healthy. And never stop exploring. Never stop exploring. There you go. There we got it, we got it on tape too. Right on. That's it.